this is Carly, and I'm going to be doing the uh, detox antibacterial treatment on her today. Um, Carly's a young skin. She's been dealing with um, grade four acne since she was uh, very young at 14, and she's worked with a number of different methods to uh, correct this. And it's, it's been a long process for her, but we've gotten some major improvement on her skin as she has had a number of treatments. She comes into um, a, the professional facility every week and uh, has been doing that for the last two months and is on a, a really um, specific home care regimen. And in her um, overall improve, improvement that we've discussed, Carly would say that her skin is what did you tell me about 60% improved? Just about. Mm -hmm. And uh, she says that's the first time since she's ever been dealing with this that she's seen her skin get to the place that we're at. And um, as I was telling Carly, uh, one of our goals is to make sure that we keep the skin from scarring. So we want to constantly be keeping uh, these lesions under control, not letting them get too filled, too uh, swollen, and uh, too deep that there is scarring to the tissue. But then also it's figuring out um, what the cause is, and that's a process and does take time um, to, to get to that place because every skin, every individual is different, every skin is different, and there's many causes for acne conditions. Um, in fact, really through science, they, they say that the cause of acne is unknown, but um, there are many uh, triggers, certainly, and all that's going on with Carly's skin uh, is pretty much coming from within. There may be some external factors, but we're addressing problems that are coming from within the body. And this is a nice scrub um, for uh, a skin that has these types of impurities, um, a young skin. It has got the granulars in it, but they're, they're gentle enough to not cause any um, over-scrubbing of the skin. This has got a lot of uh, green tea and salicylic, and uh, what gives this the uh, granular scrub is the diatomaceous earth, and this is a purified sea algae and it really gives just a little grainy feel to the skin that helps to soften and remove these surface dead cells. But uh, as much as anything, this is a really good antibacterial cleanse, and so it's going to be um, a real important step of um, my treatment to get the skin just really uh, surfacely and also subsurfacely clean. Okay, I've worked the um, beta action scrub into Carly's skin and we're going to let this kind of sit on there for a moment and just use the last uh, moment or two with it on the skin with a heated compress to um, just help to drive in some of the medicinal properties of this uh, cleanser into the skin. It helps to soften everything up and it's also a nice way to remove this granular scrub. This was not so hot that it was, you know, steamy hot or that you have to be concerned like we are sometimes with the terry cloth uh, wraps. This is a lighter fabric and so it's just a nice good heated compress to uh, lay around the face to get a little extra heat into the skin. And then I like to just use this to uh, kind of gently take it across the face to remove the good portion of this scrub and then we'll go into another rinse for her with the gauze pads. Now I'm going to take a dry gauze and just kind of brush some of this away to get those grains off of her face. Now just one 
one good rinse with the dampened gauze pads. And once I get this off completely and have the skin dry, I'm going to um, put a layer of blemish serum on Carly's skin. And this is a really nice formula for an, of a natural antibacterial. And um, sometimes that can be a real positive support for the skin um, to kind of get away from um, benzoyl peroxide. We probably will be using some benzoyl peroxide at some stages of this, but the natural antibacterial as well, it has tataril, um, which we found through studies and through our use of it to be a very uh, potent uh, antibacterial and really helps in clearing a lot of different um, skin types. Uh, it does kill the bacteria. And uh, this also has a mixture of um, green tea and beta acid in it. I'm actually just going to put this directly onto the skin, just a drop. Now, Carly, this may have a little bit of a sting to it, and if it does, you let me know. If you need a fan, too, while I'm doing any of this, you let me know. You don't touch the face with your bottle but it, sometimes if you can you if your uh, application can be just dropped onto the skin directly without having to put it on your hands or in a bowl you just get it directly on there and I think you get more out of the, the product okay you okay with that mm -hmm. Carly has the blemish serum all over her face and we want to do that before we do our actual um, enzyme mixture, which is the Italian herbal peel. Um, but I've also mixed in the Italian herbal peel, I've used one teaspoon of the herbs with uh, a couple of droppers of the blemish serum. So she has it on her face as well as mixed with, with the herbs. And then I've added a little Hydro Complex. You can put the Hydro Complex in this to give it a little bit more um, spreadability and make it more workable uh, and we'll also be adding more of that as we blend it onto the skin. These herbs are extremely good for um, a, a skin that is toxic, a skin that has uh, um, a lot of lesions, bacteria, impurities, uh, really uh, many skin types from normal all the way to oily, dry, acne um, can use this with great success. And it's an easier one for some of the young people to tolerate uh, because it's not a real hot mixture. Um, it, it, can st it can have a little bit of a sting, but it's not overly hot like some of the acids are. Hydro Complex is a pressed grapeseed oil and it has got the yam progesterone in it and uh, some nice essential oils, the cypress, uh, which is a good oil for balancing. And we find that the Hydro Complex can be really useful for uh, a skin that has got hormonal issues um, to uh, use at different stages of, of the their time uh, to help to, you know, really eliminate 
um, some of the periods that they go through with the hormonal imbalance. And I'm not talking about hormonal imbalance within the body, I'm just talking about within the skin, what the skin goes through at those different times when it will break out more. And um, we found that the Hydrocomplex Serum can be a good support at that time. I just work this into the skin with the oil. If it starts to get dry, then add a little bit more Hydrocomplex. But I put quite a bit on initially, and yet I can see where you're getting a little bit dry. And you can also use a little bit of vapor of steam with this. Um, don't have it too close to the skin, but just a very light vapor, and it'll help keep this a little softer. Now, how's that feel? Can you feel a tingle or anything? Yeah, a little bit of steam. A little sting, okay. And um, that's because this mixture, besides all of the um, antibacterial healing herbs that it has, which is oregano, thyme, rosemary, basil, um, we've added the blemish serum to the mixture too as an antibacterial, um, and that adds to, to the mixture having just a little bit of a sting. But you want to work this into the skin and leave it on uh, for about 10 minutes. It takes at least that much time for uh, all of these herbs to really uh, sink in or absorb into the skin enough to, to add some good healing benefits. It really softens up lesions and comedones too, making it much easier for you to do extractions. Claustrophobic? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to be placing a little cellophane wrap over your face. I'm going to put it on the upper portion. Could have this be just a little bit wider if you wanted to get all of the neck in. Once you have that laid on the skin nicely, then we're going to do a, a heated compress. And this time I'm going to use a, a heavier uh, fabric, a terry cloth towel that's um, really hot, really steamy. And then we'll wrap that around the face. Okay, is that all right for you? Mm -hmm. Is it pretty warm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll take it down just a little bit. It's always a little warmer around the chin, creates a heat. Uh, there's more folds of fabric here. Actually, I'm gonna let this drop down some, just more of the neck. Don't go back and pat this in. It would be creating way too much heat for her. Um, just a few minutes with this, and like I said, this is gonna just marinate all of these essential herbs that are on the skin. Uh, to help to dry them into the tissue. This is a very therapeutic treatment, very corrective, but considered a facial treatment, and this could be done weekly. And um, we've actually done this on Carly before, and she's had a variety of treatments uh, over the last two months on a regular basis. And you, sometimes with acne skin, you, it's a, a process of discovery, and you will try different treatments on the skin to see what one the skin likes the best or gives you the most healing and sometimes it's just very important to change up their their regimen on a regular basis and uh, Carly has had uh, several different treatments uh, and like I mentioned this one before as well which was really successful for her. Okay we'll go ahead and unwrap that.
Always start at the eyes and wipe out away so you get any mixture that's on um, and near the eye area, get that off first. And because I take all these treatments all the way back into the hairline, you're obviously going to get the hair messed up and a little um, wet at times, but that is preferable to not going all the way back and getting a thorough cleaning all over the face. And this has really stimulated Carly's skin, and she's much pinker everywhere around the lesions. you've done extractions and you've opened the skin like this, um, depending on what you're putting on the skin, like if we were going into, um, say, the green tea mask or the rosemary basil mask, uh, you could go over the skin with the um, green tea lotion, the beta green tea lotion, which is a good antibacterial, and it's, it's helpful for where you've opened the skin. Uh, but if you're going to go in with something strong, like I'm going to use today, which is the uh, BPO gel, it's a 5% benzoyl peroxide, that in itself is an antibacterial and so I won't need to do anything else uh, to the skin uh, to do that. Now this may get a little warm Carly and if you need the fan just let me know. Yeah all of these are going to come out really nicely. You just. In fact, for Carly, what I would do is just have a treatment where that's what it is, extractions. And she just goes in, has a good steaming cleaning, and everything is about extracting and cleaning all of this up. I'm just going to use my gauze to do that. You could use a little brush, but this, I'm going to throw this away. This is a good way to do it. And I'm going right to the lesions first, and I, I'm sure you're going to feel this, just how much and um, how hot it becomes to you. You let me know if you need that fan. Uh, benzoyl peroxide is, is a very effective healing agent. Um, but I don't use it in everything for home care. I think it gets a little overused and overdone sometimes on the day-to-day -day basis, but in the treatment room to give that extra zing when you're wanting more healing, this can be uh, a really valuable tool for you. And the Beta Refine Mask is a mixture of salicylic acid and sulfur and uh, so it will help to take the inflammation out. Um, it's very antibacterial again, salicylic is lifting, antiseptic and uh, this is a hot mask so again Carly don't hesitate to let me know and say whatever you're feeling and if you need a fan. I know how hot this can get because I've used this little mixture on me like on my chin when I've had just one breakout and it's been hot and so I know all over and if you're not one that has this type of skin issue you want to become very sensitive to that um, because there are um, definitely um, sensations for an, a skin like Carly's that they go through with this. Uh, and if you haven't experienced that, you may not be thinking about how, how uncomfortable or what they're going through. And uh, she's a real trooper here. She's handling this very, very well. Uh, Carly wasn't feeling this as much when I first put it on and she said it was just a little tingle. Well, the longer this sits on the skin, the more everything seeps down in and around in the tissue and then it gets heated up and gets a lot warmer. And so giving them the fan at this stage is fine and it really does help to take the edge off. And another thing that I would do 
uh, for my clients at this stage while they're sitting in this is to go ahead and do a, a shoulder massage, a neck massage, um, putting a little drop of essence in your hands and going over the upper back area really helps to take a lot of tension um, away and it also takes the mind off of some of the discomfort. Um, in fact, with a, a lot of acne skin, stress and, and emotional stress and tension and uh, those types of issues um, can be a factor in the skin breaking out. And so if you can get your client to have a little relaxing moment, um, it, it's very beneficial for them. Okay, we have the Beta Refine mask on Carly, and I'm going to take this off now. It's been on her skin for about 10 minutes, and the time is either 5 to 10 minutes depending on the skin, uh, and if you were to mix the benzoyl peroxide in your Beta Refine mask, then you might just leave it on for about 7 minutes. Um, the time is really kind of depending on the sensitivity of the skin and how long you feel they need to have that, as well as how quickly the mask sets up. Carly's skin may get a little tight and feel dry and uh, she will probably be a little pink for a day and uh, then she'll get a little flaking. She'll actually get like a mini peel from this and although that was not the goal so much we were going for more healing than we are peeling the combination is good because whenever you remove the blockage you're going to uh, certainly eliminate and reduce um, the potential for um, acne. Okay, now that the last of the Beta Refine has been removed for Carly's skin, um, her skin has calmed down, she's not feeling as much heat, and I'm going to go ahead and take the fan for her. And I've turned the oxygen on, so I'm going to get that ready. We've got the Vitanomes in the Nebulizer, which is a mixture of vitamins and sodium chloride. And this is going to be an excellent part of the treatment for Carly. Oxygen is very good for acne skin. It will help to um, instill enough oxygen to control the bacteria and the vitamins will give her some really strong antioxidant support which is vital for all skin types. And I'm starting out around the forehead area and really saturating where she's got some more breakouts. Although I will get the entire face with the goal of getting every pore. This will also feel very soothing to your client and if they've been very stimulated and heated up or if they've had um, a lot of extractions and it's been real uncomfortable, this is just going to give them a nice finish uh, not only as a benefit for their skin, but in feeling good too and nurtured. And you want to make sure you really get into this hairline. And most people with uh, issues with uh, acne conditions and impurities, the hairline is an area where they also get some breakouts and you want to make sure you always go to that area. I'm going to turn off my nutrients go in front of Carly, let her get a breath of oxygen, take it in. Okay, your skin looks really nice calm down enough for all that we did and it's still going to go through some stages of drying and, and being a little pink and then exfoliating. I'm just going to finish her with just a little bit of Mare's Milk Moisturizer and the Zinc Protection Cream.
and mare's milk is a real pure base of um, primarily the mare's milk for um, good nutrient support, very light, so great for your acne skins, and a little zinc protection cream. And so this uh, completes our treatment for Carly. This is one of my signature facials, uh, the detox antibacterial treatment using the Italian herbal peel. Well, I see a tremendous difference on um, customer skin. I, uh, customers that came in with a lot of problems, acne and um, you know pigmentations, and uh, I had to see such a tremendous difference. And I see how they, and because of that, I have now a follow of um, you know of customers that uh, every month they are in a salon, but before they come in once in a while. Now they follow the routine and, um, and because, you know, you have such a wonderful home care program, so it's great that, uh, you know, they follow and, and you make it so easier for us to, to do the right way.